insert. Today, I'm going to explain to you guys the five types of inserts that there are, so keep watching. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ada and if you're new, thank you for watching. Today I want to talk to you guys about the different types of cloth diaper inserts. And an insert is the absorbent layer that goes into a pocket diaper or you can lay them in a cover. An insert can also be the attached part of an all-in-one diaper. And these are usually referred to as an attached insert or a sewn-in insert. Sometimes they're, sometimes they're also called a sewn on insert. Just cut that part out. Okay, so the first two types I'm just going to briefly kind of touch on, and that is that you can use pre-folds like this, tri-folded, um, tri pad-folded into a pocket diaper or a cover, or you can also use a flat which you have folded into a pad fold and then do the same, stick it in the, a pocket diaper or lay it into a cover. I talked more about those in a previous video so I don't want to touch on those too much. The most popular type of insert and the most affordable is going to be this which is a microfiber insert and I'll zoom in on that so you guys can kind of see that. That's kind of what it looks like up close. So microfiber is going to be the most affordable option. A lot of diaper companies will actually send microfiber inserts along with their pocket diapers. These are quick absorbing and they also dry quickly. Cons to microfiber are that they are prone to compression leaks. They are known to hold onto smells. They're not as durable as other fibers. Microfiber cannot be placed against baby's skin because of its moisture wicking abilities. It will suck the moisture out of your baby's butt and it will cause diaper rash. I personally do not recommend microfiber because of the compression leaks you get. They're, you know, kind of bulky and I just think you can spend a couple extra dollars and get inserts that will last you longer and do a way better job. So the next one is going to be charcoal bamboo inserts. <laughs> <laughs> these are n these I I personally I do not like these and it is because I feel like it's a gimmick so charcoal charcoal, uh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> charcoal bamboo is basically the outside layers are bamboo that has been infused during manufacturing with charcoal and the absorbent layers inside of it are microfiber. So this is basically a microfiber insert with the ability to be placed against baby skin because the charcoal, you know, bamboo part can touch baby skin and it's fine. I mean, the pros to these are that they don't stain as easily because of their dark color, but they also don't have that great of absorbency kind of like microfiber because they are microfiber inserts essentially. There are claims that these are antibacterial and all these other things but those claims aren't true from the research I have done. I don't recommend these. I feel like you you're basically buying microfiber for maybe a little bit higher of a price tag so I'd skip on these. Cotton is an option for inserts and this is up close of a type of cotton insert. This one has been washed so it is starting to get a little pilly. Um, but it's really soft. It's super soft. Um, this one is actually organic cotton. This one is organic cotton but they also come in non-organic cotton. These are an affordable option and they also come in a range of different finishes so you could have one like this which is... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what finish this is because I didn't really ask when I bought it. They just told me it was organic cotton. Um, but you can get them in like a French terry. You can get them in, oh, what is the other one? I think you can get it in Jersey. A con to these is that they are usually bulkier than other inserts that are natural fibers. They're also slow to absorb. I usually like to pair my cotton inserts with a bamboo insert or even a hemp insert, but I will just 
lay it like this so that my bamboo insert is underneath of it and then the cotton is on top and I've had great results with this. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is bamboo which is super trim. Let me zoom up on that so you guys can see. It might, it might be a little hard to see on camera. Let me try to do it this way. And if you guys can kind of see that. Um, I actually have two, two different finishes. I actually just got sent this one which is a wool bee bug. It has an adorable little worm of some sort on it. I've never used this brand but this one got sent to me for free because there was an issue with an order that I placed so they sent me a free insert. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is one type of bamboo finish where it's just kind of a smooth, um, it's just kind of a smooth material on the outside. I kind of feel like it feels like a t-shirt honestly so this might be like kind of a jersey top thing. I would have to look. And then this other one which is the the wolfie bug one is gonna be like the bamboo terry. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to really see that on camera but it's kind of got like um oh what reminds me of like a towel. Yeah so like a, a nice a really nice towel type of finish but it's really soft I really like these. They're really trim and they have a high ca capacity for holding liquids which is really awesome and then they're also quick absorbing so sometimes I'll actually take depending if it's like a bedtime I'll sometimes just stack you know two bamboo inserts like this in their um, in their pocket trainers and then they'll be good to go at night the downside to the bamboo is that it is more expensive than microfiber or cotton inserts. Bamboo is definitely one of my favorites because it, to me, it cleans well, it, it absorbs well, and it absorbs quickly and it also dries, you know, relatively quickly. It might not dry as quickly as microfiber, but it definitely dries quicker than the next inserts we're going to talk about. The next one is a contoured insert and it looks like this and it's got, you know, the contours around it. I've never really used contour inserts. I usually just use, you know, the typical kind of long rectangle shaped ones. But these ones are uh, good if you put them inside of a pocket diaper. You can get more coverage in the front and in the back because of their shape. This one, <laughs> this one's actually a newborn one, so that's why it's so teeny. But this is a also a hemp insert. So this is kind of what hemp looks like up close. It's usually kind of this darker, kind of darker brownish color. Not really brown, I guess a dark cream color. But that's typically what it looks like. Usually a hemp and cotton blend. They're in, I've never seen any that are 100% hemp. They're usually a hemp cotton blend. The pros to these are gonna be that they are super trim. You know, as you can see, like that is, boop, I would do it this way. No. This lighting is playing games. So it's super trim. And this is going to be one of the most absorbent inserts. Cons to hemp are that they're going to be way more pricey than the other ones that I have named. They also, when you wash them, whether you line dry them or dry them in the dryer, they are a lot stiffer than bamboo. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but like... You know, when I kind of like, you know, I can ball this one up. This one is like, you kind of see how like, this one definitely holds its shape more. It's going to be way more stiff, especially if you line dry them. When my children were smaller, I used to actually line dry our hemp inserts. But then I stopped doing that because they were just like, I would take them off the clothesline and they would just be like, straight. Like you would wave it like this and it was not, it would not move. <laughs> That's how stiff it was. Hemp is definitely a good one. You can put it together with bamboo. This kind of looks weird because it's a newborn insert with a one size insert. But you can kind of pair them, you know, with like, a lot of people will do hemp on the bottom and then bamboo on top because then bamboo will absorb it quickly and then hemp will absorb it slowly. But it'll hold a lot. So those are usually a good pair together. Absorb is another option but it's it's pretty uncommon and it's also extremely pricey. Zorb is a mix of natural 
and man-made fibers. It is extremely absorbent. There are a lot of cloth pad makers who actually use Zorb in their cloth pads because of how absorbent they are. Zorb actually was designed to reduce compression leaks. So while we're talking about inserts, there are actually options where you can boost the absorbency of the insert without laying a whole separate insert on top of another one. These are typically called boosters or doublers. It depends, it's, it depends on the company and you know kind of who you're talking to, but generally it's going to be referred to as a doubler or a booster. And they look like this. This one's, um, what brand is this? I think these are Thirsty's brand. And what you do with these is, this is not, this cannot go in a diaper by itself because it's not absorbent enough to go by itself. But all you do is you can just, you know, you can take your insert and then lay this on top, put it in your cover or inside your pocket, and then this will boost the absorbency of your insert. There are also things called liners, which act as a barrier between baby's bottom and your diaper or your insert, depending on the diaper you're using. And this is basically just a thin piece of material that lays on top of your insert or your all-in-one or your pocket, whatever type of diaper you're using. And it protects the diaper from if your baby has a diaper rash and you're using a not safe diaper cream, then you can lay a disposable or a reusable liner into your diaper and it will protect the cloth diaper from the side effects of using not cloth diaper safe rash creams. <laughs> it also makes disposing of baby's poop way easier. If you have a disposable liner, you can just take it out, dump baby's poop into the toilet off of the liner, and then just throw the liner in the trash. A lot of liners are marketed as flushable, but it is not good for your septic system. And even if you're on city water, it's really bad for the water system. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you go because you don't want to miss the next time I upload a video.